Nights. With Poe and Monroe. Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe on iOS. And I'm going to pick up where I left off. I'm at episode 3. Enjoy! Caller on line three. Is that a bad thing? I changed the number after Frankie. He's the only one that knows it. Frankie's dead. We imagined all that. So we take the call then? Hmm. Who is it? Hello? He will die if you let him. Frankie? The boy. The order you do things is important. I I've seen them all. Is this a prank? Frankie's dead. Who is this? Listen, just listen. She will lie to you. She will get away. She will kill the boy. You can't change that. What are we supposed to do? I don't have the lines between the dots. I just see the final picture. I don't like that, Poe. Me neither. And here's Yvette on line two. I love your show. Thanks, Yvette. I love your accent. What's your question? My question is, do you care about people? That's a strange question. It's an AMA, Monroe. Ask me anything literally means ask me anything. Yeah, I know. But do we care about people? Yes, of course. Speak for yourself, Monroe. I'm an animal lover myself. So you don't care about people? No, I do care about people, just I care about animals more. So you care about animals more than people? Present company excluded, of course. So that's a yes and a no. Wait one moment a bit. So if I was crossing the road at the same time as a cute bunny, and you could only swerve and save one of us, you would choose the bunny. <laughs> I'd save you, obviously. Well, that's reassuring. I said I'd save you. And how long did you have to think about it? I like to consider things. You have a split second. Well, I wasn't timing it. Fine. Save me or a cat. Oh no. <coughs> you. You said that quickly to get on my good books, didn't you? No, I'm not a big cat fan. Oh! What? Does that answer your question, Yvette? Yes, I think so. I do have another dilemma. Maybe we can help, Yvette. I'd rather not say on air. That's alright. Happy to help. It's about time for a short break, anyway. Stay on the line, Yvette. We'll be back in five minutes to answer more of your AMA questions. Until then, here's something slightly more interesting instead. We're off. Yvette? I've got a hostage. A hostage? He's a boy from August I. Why is he a hostage, Yvette? I had a crush on him. But he turned out to be unpleasant. So you kidnapped him? No! I drugged his drink. Is he okay, Yvette? Not really. He has not woken up yet. But now that I've spoken to you, I'm probably just going to let him die. I like animals more than people anyway. Like Paul. 
Yvette, I was joking with Monroe. Thank you for your help. Did you get the number? No, it's withheld. Maybe she was joking. We should call the police just in case. Tell them what was said. Really? I'm not sure. I know it's a sensible thing to do. But what if it isn't? How can it not be? If it is a prank, we'll be wasting police time. If it isn't... The, the police will take action. This is the August police we're talking about here. That's two guys in DuPont drinking coffee and watching YouTube. So, they're not busy then? So they're useless. The kid will probably be dead by the time DuPont's finished his sandwich. I'm calling the police. Fine. But we still have to do something. What do you suggest? Yesterday in the August update, you said that Joe Watts had gone missing. Ah yes, I remember. He'd gone to a friend's house after school and hadn't come back. What are the odds that Yvette has got Joe hostage? Almost as high as Yvette not being her actual name. I know the headmistress from the high school. Maybe we should talk to her. Or maybe the parents. They asked for the story to be run. Don't you want to go back to school? You clearly had a better childhood than I did. I still have my cheerleading outfit. That's settled then. Let's talk to the headmistress first. What's her name? Dallas Umber. That's a strange name. She's a strange woman. Take a seat, both of you. Whilst it's admirable that you're returning to complete your education, you're a little old for this institution. Sorry, you're mistaken. I have a degree in cryptozoology. That's not a real degree. It's okay, Pearl. She's messing with us. Really? Yes. I'm eccentric. Can't you tell? <laughs> uh, well, we're here about Joseph Watts. And there was I thinking I was going to be on the radio. Joseph is a pupil here though, right? He certainly is. Head boy and heartbreaker. Heartbreaker? He's a good-looking lad. Generous nature, always helping people. Any idea where he could have gone? Well, probably at some young lady's house whose parents are away. He went missing yesterday, and we had a caller on Radio August who said they'd kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Well, sounds a bit far-fetched. We're looking for him, so anything you can tell us would be useful. You'd be better off talking to his form tutor, Miss Clay, but... Well, away. How was Joe doing at school? Oh, he was doing as well as he could for a boy. For a boy? Oh, boys aren't as clever as girls, academically, Poe. They don't apply themselves enough, especially in mixed-sex schools. Is this a mixed-sex school? Mixed-sex? Yes, yes it is. Was Joe being bullied by anyone? No. Joe's a sporty type. Not sure he'd be easily pushed around. Do you know any pupils called Yvette? Not recently. Why are you looking for someone called Yvette? It's the name of the kidnap. And by recent you mean? Well, I was at school with an Yvette, but that was many moons ago. Not in August. Different country, actually. Well, we should be off now. Here's my number, if Joe turns up, or if you think of any place he might be. Thank you, Mrs. Umber. It's Miss Umber. Miss Umber. <clears throat> you too, take care. August's not the town it used to be. Hmm. What's our next move, Munro? Who did she say Joe's teacher was again? Miss Clay. If we can find her address, we should visit her. I think she's staying at the guest house. Why do you think that? I saw a bill on Miss Amber's desk. Let's go see her then. We could. And there's also Joe's parents.
I'm worried about what Frankie said. Is this the right move? I have no idea. Let's go and see Miss Clay. And hope she's at the guest house. I like making the decisions. I'm very happy to be woman-led. I know you are, Poe. I'm gonna talk to Miss Gallagher. You find Miss Clay. Why don't I talk to Miss Gallagher, and you find Miss Clay? I don't trust you talking to other redheads. How do we know Miss Clay isn't a redhead? Because she'd be called Miss Scarlet? Sound reasoning. Just go. I'll meet you back in the car. Hello? It's Alice. Alice Monroe? From the radio? Yeah, from the radio. What brings you here, Miss Monroe? One of your guests, actually. Well, I'm happy to chat, but you will need to help me strip. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> we need to strip the bed. That's how I do it at home. <laughs> I'm assuming this is about Miss Clay. She is my only guest. Yes, the school teacher. One of her pupils has gone missing. Well, being held hostage, actually. Hostage? We had a caller on the radio. Someone calling themselves Yvette said that they'd taken this boy, Joe Watts, hostage. Watts? Oh, yes. The family's been in August for a long time. They manufacture and sell fireworks, of all things. I love fireworks. Ghastly things. All that metal in our drinking water makes my thyroid throb just thinking about it. They're fun though, right? If you're an unethical hedonist, I will Google that when I get home. Do. <laughs> Did you ever meet Joe Watts? Never met him. August High is a grammar school though, isn't it? So, presumably, he's clever enough or rich enough to be there. And Yvette? Yvette. Yes, I did have an Yvette stay here last year. I think her family were just passing through, though. Her mother was an electrical engineer for a big television company. She did fix my reception, though. Do you think that's her? Was she Britishy? Oh, yes, Britishy. That quintessential accent of the United Kingdom. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. It's okay, Miss Monroe. I'm just teasing you. No, she was uh, Russian. Yvette had a French accent. Think of anything that might help? Please give me a call at the radio station. Surely you want me to call the police if I notice anything? Mm. I'd rather you called us first, if that's okay. Do the police know what's going on? They do. I just think that we have a better chance of finding Joe than they have. Very well then. I shall do as I'm told. Thank you. I know we're going to find him. Well, I didn't get much out of Miss Clay. She said Joe was a litterbug. So she's an eco-warrior? Yes. I wish we could have recycled our meeting, actually. How was Miss Gallagher? Kinder dominant. I liked her. 
Maybe I shouldn't let you hang around with other redheads. Maybe you shouldn't. Let's circle back to this later. Did she say anything useful at all about Joe? She said Joe's parents sold fireworks. Mm, I suppose that could be useful. Anything else? She said the only Yvette she knew was Russian and an electrical engineer, so I'm guessing that's not our Yvette. Did she say anything about Miss Clay? Not really. I probably should have asked more questions. I got distracted. <laughs> Seems we're out of leads. I'm still up for visiting the headmistress again. We could drill Miss Gallagher some more. Give it up, Alice. I'm trying. The headmistress, then? Miss Gallagher? Denied. Let's see Dallas Umber. Wanna play good cop, bad cop? Do we have to? Okay. You be good cop, and I'll be bad cop. You're going to rough her up? No, just... If you think she's not telling us everything, leave it to me and I'll get the goods. I'm not going to lie. I would. She's coming. Back so soon? <laughs> You're lying, Dallas. About what? The missing kid. Kids. Kids. It's not a secret, is it? We've had two other children disappear. Joe's the third. Do the police know? Yes. They know. The first girl was fostered, so although she went missing, it was... She's been abducted. No, just back on the street somewhere, anywhere. But not here. So... They're not even looking for her. No, I expect they are. But I'm just a head teacher. Of a school that loses children. I don't lose children. They don't go missing on my watch. It's when they're out there in the big, ugly underbelly of August. I'm sorry, Miss Amber. We didn't mean to accuse you. That's quite all right, Mr. Pope. I know you're just trying to find Joe. Here, go and visit Wes Marie. She's currently off school for a spot of R&R. &R. Her head's a bit mushy, but she purports to know where the missing children are. Thank you, Miss Amber. Miss Munro? Sorry, Miss Amber. Thank you. Noted. Let's go see Wes Marie, then. Let's not rush this. I think it could be worth seeing Miss Clay, too. But you're right. Wes Marie's a new lead. She could have all the answers. Step on it. Or it'll be her bedtime. It'll be your bedtime in a minute. Promises, promises. People don't normally want to hear what I have to say. We do. We want to hear about John Watts. If I tell you what I think, I'll topple my meds. Well, we don't want to get you in trouble. Just tell us what you can. Don't be silly, Paul. We're not going to tell anyone. You can tell us anything. It's okay. You can trust us. We're from the radio. It's Miss Clay. She ran this after school club, Green for Life. I was in it. She made us make a list of those with the most environmental impact in our class. I did it. It was me. I made the list. Joe was third on it and the third person to go missing. You have to help and you need to! It's okay. We're gonna help. You just need to take a breath. To love him in the woods. At Hell Park. You have to hurry. She'll kill him if they don't pay. 
A ransom? His parents. Who is being ransomed? If they pay, she'll donate the money to charity. It's sick. It's come too far. And what if they don't pay? I don't know. I have no sorrow. What did you see, Westmarie? His clothes. She was turning him into trees. A dryad. A what now? A dryad. Someone who's part human, part tree. We need to go. How, Park? Yeah. Where's Marie? Where's Marie? You did good. We're gonna save Joe. You wait here and we'll be back. Hmm. We're too late, Alice. No. No. This is all our fault. <laughs> oh, no. He wasn't eaten. He, he was murdered. We think Miss Clay had something to do with it. Vet. She's the one the police should be finding. Do you have her voice recorded? Yes, we record all incoming calls. Do the police have it? I already sent it over. I'm sure they're working on it. I guess I'd better go and identify Joe's body. What, whatever's left of him. August wolves pretty much eat anything. One time, there was a whole school bus of children and... Poe, I think you can save that story for another time. Of course. Sorry. We're sorry for your loss. We'll see ourselves out. Frankie gave us a warning. Did he know? I'm having a hard time with this whole Frankie thing. Where do you think Miss Clay is? No one can find her. Far away from August, I should imagine. I feel responsible. Don't. It's not like you made all the decisions that led to Joe's death. If they ever invent a time machine, I'm coming back and I'm saving Joe. Good luck with that. Maybe he was always too. That's gloomy. Fate and destiny, Munro. It can't always be changed. We never found out who a vet was either. Some things will always remain a mystery, Monroe. Attends, Marie Vet. Un moment, maman. J'ai fait mes devoirs. Next time. On Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. We have a special treat for you tonight. Madame Baratsky claims to have helped hundreds of clients discover their previous selves. Mm. Monroe, are you ready to meet your mm. past self? I was born ready. I'm Elizabeth. That's what you were going to ask, isn't it? Dark Nights. With Poe and Monroe. <laughs> I like that they include other characters from uh, the other games. Alright, took Frankie's call. Saved Monroe.
Hmm. All right. I'm not sure. Wow. I still have only two achievements. I'm not doing too well, am I? Did bad cop. Hmm. I'm not sure. Um. Guess I'll try to get more achievements first. I'm gonna play through all six episodes. I think. Um. Three more, and then I'll try to go back and see if. I can maybe save Joe. All right, so that's oh, um, Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. Check it out. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.